Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Tenerds to Human and welcome to this special games guide edition of Rome Total War. Today we're going to look at how you can modify the mercenary unit. But it's not a simple matter of just changing the stats or changing the amount of men in each unit. No, we can actually change the frequency of these units turning up on the campaign map. So we can have elephants every other turn if you so wish. We can also make Cretian archers appear in Britain for example. The location can be changed, the price and the experience can be changed as well. So we're going to have a look at how you can change all these little things with just a few small tweaks in the game files. Mercenaries add a great spice of variety to your armies, and particularly in Rome Total War, the factions are quite unique in terms of their units. Some completely lack phalanxes, others completely lack archers, and the mercenaries do help to bolster and round off your forces. Even if you're playing as a faction with some of the best unit rosters around, like Rome or the Seleucids, you're going to want to use these once in a while. The Romans don't have any hoplites, so the hoplites in Greece are great to hire. Cretan archers are a common mainstay of almost every army. Seleucids have a brilliant roster, but they don't have long-range archers, so they obviously are great to fit the bill. Naturally, you need some fodder along the way, so pyjama men, the Libyan mercenaries, are good just to throw and waste missiles on the enemy units, or indeed just to sit in a garrison while your army marches on to the next settlement. Rome Total War is full of all sorts of different odd units, and the wildcard options like the War Elephants are just great fun. So we want to make those a little bit more frequent. They may be understandably rare, but we can change that without too many problems. Suffice to say that mercenaries are incredibly useful in Rome Total War. The variety of units is brilliant, but you know what? I think we need to get in the game files and just see how we can tweak it a bit. Because I want some Cretian archers in Britain, I want some war elephants every turn, so let's go have a little look-see at how we can change it. Once inside your Steam library and Rome Total War, we're going to head into Data and down to the World folder. From there, we go into Maps, Campaign, Imperial Campaign, and here we have Desca underscore Mercenaries. This is the folder that we use quite often because it has Desca underscore Strat in. Now, as you might well imagine, what this does is this changes the mercenaries for any new game you begin, much like Desca underscore Strat here. So this won't work in a game that you've already started. This will take place for any new game you start. So let's just bear that in mind before we get going. So let's open it up. This file is very simple to understand, to be honest, it just breaks down all the different sets of mercenaries into which pools of regions they're available in. So for example, you have the Pool of Britain here, which includes these four regions, they're all listed there, and any mercenaries are listed below. So we have ourselves just the mercenary barbarian infantry in Britannia. Nice and simple, how much experience do they start with? Zero, you can obviously put it up to nine if you want, the cost of how much it is to actually purchase them. We'll go into replenishment in a bit more detail in a bit, but basically that's how often the unit will replenish and be able to be hired again. Then you have how many you can have at one time in the pool, so you can have up to two available in that pool. And initial is just at the very start of the game how many of those are going to appear. So this is just nice to have a little look at for now. But let's go into the game and let's take a little example to just to remind ourselves of what it looks like at the start because then we can have a little play around. So for that I just want a simple little region. We'll pick a slightly different one of course. So how about we go for Illyria over here. The Illyrian mercenaries are a wonderful mercenary unit. We use them quite often so we'll go look at that. So at the moment what we can expect from Illyria, Dalmatia, Pannonia is one unit here. They have a, one experience, cost 650. The replenishment is, well, that's actually quite a high replenishment, a max of three at any one time, an initial of one. So we'll just load up the game, we'll have a look at how that looks right now, and then we'll come back here and fiddle around with it. Here we are in turn one, and you can see here that we are now in the Illyria region, which means we can hire up their mercenaries. So as you might well have expected, it was initial of one unit out of a maximum of three, so there's only one here at the very start of the game. As promised, it's 650 recruitment cost, and the experience is already at one. All looks absolutely grand. The slightly more complicated part is, of course, the replenishment. Now, what we're going to do here is just flick through the turns to get an idea of how quick that will actually take for these Illyrian mercenaries here. By turn six, we've got ourselves up to two Illyrian mercenaries, which is lovely, even if the game is throwing lots of rebels and even a Roman invasion of Corinth at me. It's no problem. We'll just see how long it takes to get up to three. By turn 10, we have ourselves three units of Illyrian mercenaries available. And that's just about what I expected. Let's take a little closer look at the maps involved. Now, the given replenishment rate for these Illyrian mercenaries is 0.125 to 0.37. 
What that basically means is every turn the game's going to generate a number somewhere within that range, and that is how much replenishment is going to take place. So 0.125, if that happens every single turn on the lowest possible amount, it will take 8 turns for our Illyrians to get back to a new unit. But with 0.37, it's going to be 3 turns, and actually you'll have a little bit of extra over for the next unit. The mass has really fallen pretty near in the middle of the ballpark here because it took us six turns to get one unit. It should take between three and eight. Likewise, to get the two units, it took us ten turns, and it should take between six to sixteen, depending on how the dice rolls for you. So this is very much what you'd expect to see in the vanilla version of the game. But let's go have a fiddle with those files, begin a new campaign, and see how much we can make it change. Let's make a few changes to the pool of units in Illyria then, because we can do all sorts with it, can't we? So let's go and change the experience. Let's put them straight up to nine. Let's go and basically halve the cost. Let's put it at 350 now. Replenishment. Now, we're going to whack this right up to a really high amount, just to see how mad we can make it go. It's 0.8 to 0.9. Let's say a maximum of five. And let's start off with two as well. Now, of course, we can also add extra units beneath to make them available there too. So let us go and scroll down, and I think you know which unit I'm going to be taking. Yep, it's the unit of Mercenary Elephant. So we're going to copy that, drag it back up here, and paste it in on this line here. Make sure it's all lined up. Marvellous stuff. And from here, of course, we'll just go and edit some of these once again. So we'll go and change that to 9, put the cost onto 4, as for the replenishment, 0.005 to 0.015, that by the way is 200 turns, or at best 67 turns. That is uh, why you don't see them very often. So we're going to change it around a little bit. Let's just make it 0.5, and let's just say at best to 0.9. As we save it up then, we are going to start a new game to test this out. We can't load the old one. As I said, these changes will only take place on any new game you begin after you've changed the file. So having saved it, let's start a new game. Back on turn one is Macedonia then, and we're going to click on our General's Recruitment slot, and Mercenary War Elephants are available, ladies and gents. You do not need to add resources into this region to make that happen. Not at all. You can get the Mercenaries without any of that nonsense. So here they are, nine experience, four on the recruitment cost, which is just silly. And so Valera Mercenaries, we have the two that we asked for, nine experience, 50 recruitment cost. Anyway, let us hear the upkeep is still 130, and indeed the upkeep here is 490. Now I have done a previous video on how you can change the unit stats, and everything I showed you there is relevant to this as well. All the mercenaries are in that file. We'll just dip into it very quickly just to show you what it is. There is a longer video on that if you want to go and change all of these base stats. But yeah, lovely stuff. We've managed to get those two Illyrian mercenaries, like we asked, as well as the war elephants. We're just going to end our turn and see how quickly we get some more. Turn three, and we're up to three Illyrian mercenaries and two war elephants already. We have really rigged the deck in our favour. That is just beautiful. If you want to go and change those unit upkeeps, or just the base stats for any unit, head into data and all the way down. You want to go down to the text documents at the bottom, and you want to go on the export Desca unit. So right near the bottom here, if you open that up, you'll get all the edits you need. Once inside the file here, then you'll find whichever unit you like, in this case the Mercenary War Elephants. We can change all sorts of different attributes over here, and of course if you want a little more detailed look, then I do have my video on changing the unit stats and the upkeep of units. So there'll be a link in the description below, as well as an end card for that. But just for demonstration purposes for now, we're going to change the upkeep of the unit, which is this little number here. Currently 490, let's just change that to zero. So now when we save the game, that will be changed in the game as well. And this one, unlike the other file, the mercenary file in general, this one will work for any file that is already working. This just changes the game outright. So current save files, you can change in here, and it will run perfectly fine with these changes made. But before we go and check in on the upkeep of those elephants, there's a couple of things I want to do, namely involving my favourite of all the mercenaries, the Cretian Archer. As you might imagine, these units don't necessarily appear in just that one pool. The Cretian Archers, for example, are in the Aegean pool over here, but they're also in the Greece pool up in this part of the file. Now, it doesn't mean, though, that the rest of it's going to all be the same. Indeed, it's often different. The cost, though, the cost seems to be consistent. 
But apart from that, you do want to have a little check in at how it varies from region to region. You can see in the Aegean here, the replenishment is 0.07 to 0.15. So that will be between 7 and 14 turns. There's also one maximum and initial of one. Meanwhile, in the Greek pool, they're a lot less common. There's none at the start. There's a maximum of only one rather than two. And the replenishment is up from 7 to 14 turns to between 13 and 20 turns. This isn't strictly vital information if you're going to edit it anyway. Of course, you'll just make the stats whatever you want them to be. But if you're a bit of an anorak like me, you might be intrigued to see what the differences are from region to region. I'm also going to change the Cretian Archers here and make the replenishment between 1 and 1. So quite simply, every turn a new unit will replenish. I've got a maximum of 10, initial of 2. But the really fun thing is what I've done over back in Illyria. I give myself a list of all my favourite mercenaries and made sure that I could hire them all up on turn one to get a marvellous, marvellous little army. Just a little hint though, um, a problem I found when I just did this, you can change the initial up to four, make sure you change the maximum because if you leave that at two, you're only going to get two of course, so make sure you do your checks properly. But basically, I'm now going to get all of these available in Illyria and I can hire myself up a nice juicy army. Might though, just go change a couple of these numbers around to make it a little bit cheaper for me. So, without any further ado, let's head back in the game and let's go check this all out. First things first then, our general stepped out of Corinth into the Greece region. You can see there those two Cretan archers are already there. If we end our turn, we should be straight up to three because we have a replenishment of one every turn. So just flick through all of that and straight up to four. Indeed we are. Oh, it's a marvellous, marvellous thing. Let's go check on those ridiculous troops up in Illyria. Back up in Illyria then, and our chap on turn one can go and open up the Mercenary Tap. And yes, just a beautiful list of nonsense over here. And the Mercenary War Elephants, of course, we change the upkeep to zero. You can see that by playing with the other file, you can change all of that kind of stuff with the unit, which is just marvellous. So if I go and grab myself these units, we'll have ourselves a delicious army, and at least infantry, of course. Uh, we'll get all of those chaps killed in good time. Now I have a lovely spread of forces just what anyone could want. This time, when the Romans randomly turn up in Corinth on turn three, we can batter them. That's all for now then, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me on the special Games Guy edition of Rome Total War. I hope you enjoyed a little foray into the mercenaries here today. Of course, it's quite easy to fiddle around with the game files, really. It means you can play around with all of our favourite units, get to use them just that little bit more often. So, for now, I will leave you. I'm Thomas, this is Tenez the Human, and this has been our Games Guy to Modern Mercenaries. Thank you. And goodbye. Death and violence will come to you. This is a beautiful, beautiful town, by the way, guys. Let's go and smash it up. Dum tum ti 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 ti. How did you die? What is happening to my men? Steve! He was the one man who tried!